Oh, I'm so excited. Good. We're going to make a recording. <laughs> Bravo. It was wonderful, Bunny. Can I try another take? Well, I don't see why. That seemed perfect to me. When I was 16 years old, my father told me that if I didn't give up music, he'd cut me off. Of course, he didn't understand. Music is my life. Cosme McMoon. That's me, sir. Maestro, this is the talented young man I was telling you about. Then let's get started. She's remarkable, isn't she? She can be a little flat. Flat? It defies medical science. Maestro, do you think I'm ready for a concert? Expand your diaphragm, Florence! <laughs> I think Madame Florence might need more lessons. Please. My wife is ill. Singing is her dream, and I'm going to give it to her. We have to help her, because without loyalty, there's nothing. You know, I played for the president when I was eight years old. Really? Yes, Little Miss Foster, they called me. I had very high hopes of becoming a concert pianist. But then when the nerves were damaged in my left hand, that's not to be. Her condition is improving. What is her secret? Music. She lives for music. That was Florence Foster Jenkins. How did she get on the radio? I lost my left leg at Guadalcanal, but that dame's got me happy to be alive. The lady is in lesson in courage, and we love her. Oh, God. She must never see this. I'd like every copy of the post that you have. I just think this might be too much for you. This is my favorite place, and I'm going to sing here. I cannot play Carnegie Hall with Madame Florence. We'll be murdered out there. Music is important. It should not be marked. She has done more for the musical life of this city than anyone, and that includes you. 3,000 people. They need joy. They need music. But I'm afraid. Madame Florence, you must go on. This is what we live for, isn't it? This moment. It's going very, very, very well. Ah!